As schools around the region return to session, it's important to follow safety guidelines to keep students safe. I spoke to Emergency Management Director Nee Jackson to learn more. Number one, um, you know, all of our schools have school zones. We're, we're very much well aware of that. Uh, take into consideration when you're traveling that in the first few weeks of school, especially, uh, a lot of people take their kids. A lot of people are in and out of the school and make sure that you're aware of uh, children crossing highways. Uh, when that stop sign comes out on that bus to make sure that you stop. So, you know, keeping that in mind, whether it's early in the morning when school takes up, when those buses are loading, and then in the afternoons and uh, early evening hours when they may be offloading and dropping kids back off. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, between 2007 and 2016, there were almost 300 school-age children killed in school transportation accidents. Number one, be aware of your surroundings. Um, it, if you know, uh, student-wise, um, you know, it, it's teaching your kids uh, to look before they cross a roadway, um, to look, make sure that uh, when you get off that bus that, um, you know, there's not somebody that is unfamiliar there from a standpoint of safety is if you are dropping, if you are dropping or picking up kids from school, uh, make sure to position your vehicle uh, in a way that uh, if you can keep a kid from having to cross a lane of traffic, uh, do that. If you can get off the roadway on a shoulder, uh, something of that nature onto the school property, um, that's the safest of, you know, uh, areas to be in. For more information, go to Pike County Emergency Management on Facebook. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.